This is Shuttle Launch Control at T-minus 3 hours, 22 minutes, and 50 seconds and counting. Towards the scheduled Space Shuttle launch of Discovery on its STS-133 mission to the International Space Station. Currently, the launch team is working an issue that has the potential to uh, not allow us to launch today. The, uh, a little after 7.30 a.m., the... Uh, during a process known as tanking, that's filling the external tank full of ex liquid ho oxygen and liquid hydrogen. A hydrogen leak was detected in a location known as the ground umbilical carrier plate, or GUP. See, see in the picture here, that's the uh, GUP is the plate itself, and then the a seven-inch ventilation line that comes off of it and. Uh, goes away from the pad and burns off excess hydrogen at the flare stack. The uh, ventilation system is used to regulate the pressure inside the hydrogen section of the external tank as it's being filled up. As some of the super cold liquid boils off inside the tank, the pressure builds up and the vent is opened to bleed off that excess hydrogen. Currently, the currently teams here in the launch control center about three and a half miles away from Discovery or have been manually controlling the, the vent valve. That was actually not a leak being seen. That uh, was part of the normal process, but uh, there is the, this is an issue that the ground teams have been, have worked before and uh, did cause two delays to two different shuttle missions last year, STS-119 and STS-127, one on Discovery and, and one on Endeavour. We have not seen this issue since uh, June of 2009 with the SCS-127 mission. They uh, initiated a repair that uh, allowed us to continue, the, to continue to fly the shuttle missions without having any issues with the GUP. Um, in this particular case, uh, at least at the time last year, there was it was seen around when the uh, tank was about 98% full on the hydrogen liquid hydrogen side. Um, in this particular case, this morning, the leak was much earlier than uh, than had been previously seen. So again, the uh, been some limited troubleshooting going on and opening and closing the valve, what they call cycling, to see whether they could uh, get to seal up. And that did not work. They have slowed the flow. Have been slowing the flow uh, to uh, to regulate the amount of leaking that was taking place. So they uh, do continue to look at uh, options, but uh, this does have the potential to uh, to uh, prevent launch this afternoon, as it did uh, twice last year with two different shuttle missions.